Now, just a warning, some of you may find the language in this story a bit offensive, so consider yourself warned. A husband and wife have vowed to put their collection of gollywog dolls back on display after they were seized by police. Six police officers entered the pub, owned by Bernice Riley and her husband Chris, last Tuesday. They took away the 15 dolls after an anonymous complaint was made against them. A Home Office source told the media the Home Secretary Swella Bradman was furious, though. And the source said, Police force should not be getting involved in this kind of nonsense. It's about tackling antisocial behaviour, stopping violence against women and girls, attending burglaries, catching criminals and not seizing dolls. So there you go. And this story has moved on in the last few minutes. There you go. With Essex Police telling the Press Association that they have not received any such reprimand from the Home Secretary. There you go. So it's kicked off between Essex Police and the Home Secretary as well. Joining me now, though, is Harry Miller, founder of Fair Cop. And Harry, look, should the police be bothered about whether or not there are some mildly offensive dolls behind the counter of a pub? Six police officers turned up to rip those dolls out of the, the, the hands of the landlord and landlady. <laughs> absolutely not. Those gollywogs are not the new Essex boys, are they? Let, let's be honest. There's absolutely no need at all for those police officers. Seven, six, not even one. There should have been no police officer turning up, up there to seize those dolls. Look, if I, was a, if I was a Dukes of Hazard fan right now, I would be incredibly worried in case the flying squad came bursting through my doors to confiscate my Daisy Duke doll and my General Lee motor car because it has a Confederate flag on it. The police should not be involved in any of this. Just because something is in poor taste, just because something represents a value that is now long gone and is archaic, it mm. doesn't mean that the police should be involved. Let the patrons of the pub sort it out. If they object, don't drink there. Move on. Go somewhere else. But mm. don't call the police. It's not the police's job to be policing our taste, good or bad. OK, just on that as well, this is part of a bigger picture, I think, which is that whilst we have murders, stabbing, shootings, rampant drug dealing, grooming gangs, terrorism, you name it, we've got it, and it doesn't appear to be decreasing any time soon. That's before we've even started on the amount of rape convictions that we actually managed to get. It does seem to me as though the police are doing more policing of things like these dolls, which, again, the name of which I want to make clear people might find offensive, but that's what they're called, and uh, also things on Twitter. And I understand that you fell foul of, of that, didn't you? Yeah, yeah no, I, I, absolutely. I mean, I was arrested along with a uh, ex-army veteran, uh, Royal Green Jacket, last summer, if you remember, Patrick, uh, because the army veteran had put up a picture of a trans flag. And this elicited seven police officers um, from Hampshire to come down and arrest him and arrest me because somebody had been offended by the trans flag. So whether it's the trans flag, a Daisy new car or gollywonks, these are not within the purview of the police. The police should be out there catching criminals. They should not be being arbiters and the, the, the Stasi of taste. Do you think it is... In, well, you obviously don't, actually. I was going to ask you if you think it's a hate crime, but clearly you don't. But do you think it's actually just offensive? I mean, there is an argument, to be fair, that the people at the White Hart Inn in Greys should just take down these dolls. Just not because of the law, just because why would you want to have gollywogs, you know? Exactly. But we're talking about the police. There is an argument that gollywogs should not be um, on public display in, in a pub. But it's not a police matter, Patrick, is it? If the customers find it objectionable, then they will take their they will take their beer money elsewhere. That's how that's how society operates. We operate with consent. This is not the kind of thing that Sir Robert Peel set up the police force for. He was not thinking about gollywogs and trans flags and Daisy Duke cars. He was thinking about preserving life, oh. catching criminals, that sort of thing. The sort of thing that your viewers and everybody who is normal recognises is good, honest police work. Gollywogs oh. may be offensive, they may not be offensive. I personally think they are. But what I do know is mm. they are not a police matter.